Canada floats idea of North American ban on new gasoline-powered cars. Here's a summary of the article. Two-minute read, Ottawa, Canada wants deeper environmental ties with the United States and one result could be a North American ban on the sale of new gasoline-powered passenger cars and trucks, a senior cabinet member said on Thursday. Environment Minister Jonathan Wilkinson said Ottawa and the incoming administration of President-elect Joe Biden both agreed zero emissions vehicles needed to be deployed faster. Canada will discuss with the United States how to achieve this and also improve the overall performance of the transport sector, which accounts for 26% of Canadian emissions, he said in a phone interview. Canada, which has missed all its greenhouse gas targets, is vowing to hit zero net emissions by 2050. The government of Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, who says the environment is a big priority, last week said it would increase the price on carbon from C30 dollars a ton now to C170 dollars by 2030. In 2017, Canada said all vehicles sold starting in 2040 should produce no emissions. California and Quebec say they will ban the sale of new gasoline-powered passenger cars and trucks starting in 2035. Earlier this year, Biden announced a climate plan that would provide incentives for manufacturers to produce zero-emission electric vehicles. California, British Columbia, and Quebec already require a certain proportion of vehicles for sale have to be emissions-free, Wilkinson said, and Ottawa wants to talk to Washington about whether there is a North American pathway to doing something like that. This post received a score of 22,000, with an upvote ratio of 92%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. The government should focus on building out the infrastructure needed to support EVS first. A crapload more lithium will be needed too, unless a superseding technology pops up. At the moment, with typical battery chemistry, it will be nickel that is the hold up. There are enough reserves known that mining sufficient nickel is possible, but does need some investment in new mines or upgrading existing ones. Beyond that, there is enough nickel resources for some time. It should be remembered that Elon made an appeal for more nickel on Battery Day. Anyone prepared to mine large amounts of nickel in a sustainable way, were prepared to sign big, long-term contracts. Sudbury getting horny. Smokestack just grew 10 meters. Oh no not again. How do electric vehicles operate in the deep cold? What is the procedure for getting new batteries? Can batteries be recycled? Depending upon how the ban is worded, will everyone just buy trucks? Deep cold? They run, okay, just expect maybe half of the rated spec, i.e. 100 miles, expect to drive 50. Also don't rock yourself out of a snow ditch, you'll suddenly realize you have no battery left. That's for the Smith electric truck though, not sure about the others. Yeah, so these are not ideal for us that live way beyond city lights. Thank you for the award. Probably not yet but rural areas don't have issues with smog or air quality and for the most part a daily driver ISNT the main source of air pollution compared to farm equipment and freight vehicles. A city like New York would benefit a lot from a decrease of internal combustion, half the time you're at a stop light anyways and stop and go traffic is extremely easy for electric to handle. Oh yes I can see how it could help the atmosphere in a big city pretty quickly. Better figure out how millions of condo and apartment dwellers are going to charge their electric cars first. Installing chargers is outrageously expensive for existing buildings. Many buildings don't even have enough electrical capacity for EV chargers. At least condos and apt buildings can build charging stations into their garages. However much of the city doesn't have that stretch of grass with power poles near the road. In my area the poles are in people's front yards and the sidewalk is between the pole and the street. The sidewalks are super narrow already and there's no way to add a pole on the street side. A few people have jerry-rigged suspended charger cables over the sidewalk to their car and gotten fined for it. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.